Greetings, salutations, and Happy New Year. This is episode four of Paul and Liam's geocaching adventures. It's been a while since we've done a video. In fact, I don't even know if I posted video number three. Liam, you seem to think that I have. I'm not so sure, but anyway. As mentioned, it is the new year. It is a beautiful January day here in Ontario, Canada and uh, might as well get some geocaching in before the snow really starts well i was suspected the snow was going to come by now anyway for christmas by the way i got a handheld gps unit so i no longer have to use my phone so this is really the first time that i've really kind of used it our first cache today is called it was, it was a blustery day. Now this is one that we've tried to find a few times in the past and have been unable to. I think this is our third attempt, Liam. Third attempt out here. So we'll have to see. It might be a little bit too muddy, but let's see what we can find. Now, it was a blustery day. The description says that this area looks like a tornado hit it. And there's lots of fallen trees and stuff. And in our previous two attempts, there's been some garbage hanging around here as well. But uh, anyway, according to my GPS unit, we are 16 meters away in that direction. The neat thing about it snowing is you can see footsteps in the snow. I wonder if these are geocacher footsteps, eh, Liam? wonder. They could be. Footsteps are kind of going down here. Oops. We are six meters away. So third time is not the charm. We could not find this one. We we're pretty sure we knew what tree it was underneath, but despite even knowing what it looks like due to a picture on the website, we just cannot find this one. My new GPS uh, was bouncing around a little bit because of the tree cover, but let's move on to the second geocache. Which one is it, Liam? What's it called? Babbling Brook. Babbling Brook? Yeah. All right. We'll see when we get there. We've got to drive there. It's on the other side of town. Now we're almost at the Babbling Brook cache. Now there's two caches along this pathway that we're gonna try and find. The other one is called Bring the Kids. Now we tried to find this one about, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half ago, and obviously parked in the wrong spot. I think, in fact, I think this spot right here, no, it's just coming up, was it right there? Anyway, we walked right through a paintball range in order to get to it and obviously that's not the right way and we never even made it to the cache because we we're clearly not in the right area. I looked at an aerial map and I have one more possible parking spot. Apparently parking is close by these two caches so let's uh, let's see what we can find here. Alright, I think according to the aerial map it's behind this building but Let's just see what's here. The path should be right here. See, it's fenced off. Well, where are we supposed to park? Maintenance. Oh, wait a minute. Here is the entrance to a path. The Grand River Trail. I bet, Liam, this is it. So let's park here. Uh, these two caches were placed on the property with the owner's permission, so we should be fine. Good. Now I'm optimistic we're actually going to find these. Okay, we are up behind the maintenance building, which according to the aerial shot that I saw, it's pretty much right behind here. We are 33 meters away, walking right towards it. I wish that compass were bigger. I wonder if there's a way to change that. The one on my phone was bigger. And here is the babbling brook. Here is the babbling brook that we have been hearing about. 
Now some of the log entries said people have ended up on the wrong side of the babbling brook. So let's see here. What did you say? I found it. You think you found it? I'm pretty sure I did. All right, let's go see if we're right. So we found babbling brook, ironically, right next to the babbling brook. Yay. Right, there you go. This is our first cache of the new year, Liam. Did you know that? First cache that we found of 2012, so very cool. The next cache is called Bring the Kids. This is the one that we couldn't get to before because we came in from the wrong direction, but it's just a little further down this path. So uh, we're 210 meters away. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Twenty-six meters and it says it's off to the left and the path veers off to the left so we're getting close this cache is a large ammo can so apparently there's lots of goodies in it well Liam and I found the bring the kids cache didn't we Yay. and I did bring the kid maybe that was and a good luck really. and the clue yeah we'll talk about it that in a second really you might have noticed that I'm changing the way I'm editing these videos because uh, I found out recently that it's really kind of against geocaching code or guidelines or, uh, you know, to kind of really show exactly where a cache is. And I can understand that the cache owners won't, don't want them muggled or, or whatever. So, there's the paintball range, by the way, that we walked up. We walked through it, and once we reached this hill, it was uh, pretty slippery that day. I didn't want to slide down the hill. But, yeah, we found the Bring the Kids cache pretty quickly, and Liam, the clue... Really the, well, no, no, the clue didn't give it away necessarily, but the clue was brilliant after we found the cache. The clue on this one was no bark and lots of holes. And if you find this cache, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. It's a brilliant clue. So let's try and go and find our fourth cache of the day. It is called CMS Impresonated. CMS stands for Chocolate Mousse Surprise. And uh, we tried to find this cache about two months ago. Couldn't find it, but hopefully with my uh, my new GPS unit, things might be a little more accurate. So uh, we'll talk to you in a minute. So we are here live on scene at CMS Impresonated. Uh, it took me a, a bit to figure out how to load this one into my GPS R and I'm playing around with buttons. I managed to get a bigger compass. So uh, that's very cool. I'm not sure what I did for that, but uh, let's hope it stays. We are 17 meters away. Let's see here. Things are bouncing around a little bit because of the heavy tree cover. Let's see here. 11 meters. Well, we couldn't find this geocache, right, Liam? Right. Yeah, and there was no hint offered, which is a little frustrating because there's just so many places it can be amongst these trees. So uh, we'll try again perhaps later. Maybe we'll film it, maybe we won't. But for now, the end of Paul and Liam's Geocaching Adventures, Episode 4. See you on our next adventure.